We back with another one. It's Views of a Flick. Today we reviewing Pray. Who Lose Finest. Yes, sir. Oh, oh I thought finest. you were to keep going. No, I was just playing right. when I said that. <laughs> and, uh, shit, what y'all think? I'm, uh, I'm going to let I'm you gonna... kick it off, Will. Oh, me? Yeah. Our first, I do want to say uh, this was starring Amber Mid Mid, Mid Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dakota she... Beavers. Uh oh. I didn't think they would actually put who was in the um, Predator outfit. Somebody named Dame Deeble Legro. Dame Deeble Well, everyone could take that. But um it was written by Patrick Asan. Um also written and directed by Dan Trechenberg. And I already said who starred in, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how the hell I feel about this damn movie. The, <laughs> the first 30 minutes of the movie felt kind of slow to me. I was like, all right, uh, this. I came for a predator story, not a, a coming of age of a young Indian girl. There you go. <laughs> in, in there a, you go. In a in a village somewhere, I didn't come here to see her try and become chief of her tribe, and that ain't weird, really what I wanted to, to see. But I didn't hate seeing it, but it just felt like it was a little too long before we got to the actual to the predator of the of the story. That's pretty much. Ain't that every predator movie though? Nah. That's pretty. I mean, that's pretty much where I mirror your thoughts. Um, again, the whole um, village narrative, everything that was going on in the village. Like I said, the coming of age story. It's cool to get a piece of that in the beginning. Yeah. But to go 30, 45 minutes with that being the storyline. Mm, that being the main story. Yeah. It it it, it took me out of the. Um, it took me out of the Predator franchise yeah. and put me in a Disney franchise. This movie felt like a coming to age story of a what? Disney character. Just happened to have Predator elements in it. Well, I mean. Exactly. Not, wasn't Pocahontas, bro. J- almost. I mean, it pretty much was. Almost. Like, Y'all being racist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how we being racist? Because. I'm, Just because it was an Indian tribe, nigga, you mean, brought Pocahontas. up Pocahontas. I'm, I'm. The movie was. It wasn't. The movie wasn't bad. But we racist. Yeah. Um. Like I said, I'm having a. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out if I enjoyed this movie. If I didn't enjoy the movie. Um, I enjoyed parts of, parts about the movie a lot. Then again, it was some parts of this movie I didn't enjoy it. I will say, even during that feeling like that in the beginning, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I don't. It just felt like it was too long, like it was too much. I guess that's why I say I don't know how I feel directly about the movie, because I guess like it felt unnecessary, mm-hmm. but I guess it didn't feel bad. I, I guess everything for me after Predator Two mm-hmm. has been trash. No, Everything after Predator Two to me has been trash. This I probably, I probably agree with that. This wasn't. It wasn't trash. No, it wasn't no. trash. But here's my thing: it wasn't trash. But it was a streaming movie. But yeah, it, it's like I've dealt with the trash so much mm-hmm. after Predator Two that this was something that was cool. But after my second watch through, I was like, it wasn't that good. How many uh? Predator movies is it? Cause I only know two. I only know the one with Danny Glover. Alien versus and Predator. And the one before that. Predators. Well, that's more of an alien like movie six, to me. Man. Yeah, the Predator, the one that just came out like a yeah, couple this, years yeah, ago. This the seventh oh, installment. I saw that one. Um, I don't remember seeing nothing. Yeah, it's got to be like Glover. the sixth one. This the seventh. I think I saw Alien seven. versus Predator, but I took I chunked that up as an alien yeah, you movie. Got, you not got a Predator, predator one and two. Movie. Well, I think they consider that like in both of the franchises. I think what. I know it's Alien in the same universe, Predator. but I, I don't yeah. know why. So, Alien versus Predator, they had two movies. That's four. You had damn, they did make two of those. Yeah, you had yeah, Predator, one of them, and Predators. That's five mm-hmm. and six. Mm-hmm. This is number seven. 
Yeah, I ain't seen none of these. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Everything got the Predator 2 been trash. Nothing you got to see. And like I said, watching those movies. But didn't they say, before you move on, didn't they say that um the last Predator movie, um The Predators or whatever, the one that came out like 2018, mm-hmm. wasn't that supposed to be like to wipe all of the Predators out except for like uh, Predator 1 and 2? Wasn't that supposed to so. reset all of that stuff? I believe so. Oh, okay. But it didn't. It didn't do. It didn't do well yeah, at no, all. So this wasn't no prequel. Yeah, this the prequel. This uh, is like yeah. seventeen, nineteen, or some shit. Yeah. Um. So, Ron, what what you think? You uh, complete opposite with y'all thought. I mean, I like I said, I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think it was slow at all. I mean, it to me it was like they were showing parallels between the predators and and, and the natives. See, mm-hmm. and uh, I caught that. They, I thought the movie could have been much better. Yeah, but what I mean ain't, to me, it ain't really too much. You could, you could show, like in the nah, day in the life whole, of it was a whole lot. That they the day in the life, they just like was like the day in the life of Native Americans. I don't know how much different they could have got than what they did, besides them hunting, right? Or unless you want to go the where they even went the Pocahontas route. They had this niggas coming from different trying to take over. Stealing all the buffalo skin and all that. Uh, Fuck poachers. Uh, yeah, the poachers. I couldn't think of what what to call them, but uh, I get into it after you give your. I thought it was uh, I thought it was good. I, it got like real good into me into when he started tearing their ass up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, that is when the movie gets good. Up until the third act. Uh, I'm trying to think how I really the girl. I ain't really care for her. I mean, with her being a main character, but I I think I get what y'all are saying. It's like y'all was going for a predator. I, I, as far as I remember from all the other predator movies, the predator never came straight out. I mean, we saw him get out the. Did he get kicked out that ship or did he? Did they drop him off? I, I couldn't even <laughs> tell. Him off, they they okay, him off. I, I couldn't really tell. But uh, to me, they don't. They never really showed the predator until like the predator ain't really getting to his shit until like. What? 20, 30 minutes into the movie. Well, the thing is, I, I think my part, um, my bad, I know you supposed to go, I'm not go I think the part that kind of, I faltered at was, and this is me going back to Predator 1 and 2, we would normally get, um, we don't see the Predator, but we see the world through his eyes, him stalking his prey. We didn't get that often yeah. enough in the beginning of this. We didn't get none of that until we actually got the Predator out Killing everybody, you know what I'm saying? Now I think that's where it kind of. I think this that was the balance for me in this movie. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that stalking, you know what I'm saying, yeah. aspect from this movie from the Predator. Mm-hmm. It was like even when he, you know, killed the uh, the bear and the snake. It was like that fight with the bear was fire. Right? Yeah, it, it definitely was. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I, I just didn't get that that stalking element. That's what I felt like this movie was lacking in. That bird was getting off in his ass. The dude was like, all right, that that's enough of this. Picked Hit that nigga up, with a mean right. Man. Picked him up and drank his blood, bro. But no, um, that is one thing that I will say about the, um, which they really only did in like the first 30, 45 minutes of the movie, was some of the shots that the director chose to put some of the, some of the close up on the animals and like how they interacted around moving around the predator when he was invisible and all this shit and then having the animal come up and eat him. See, and that's where I thought that they was gonna go with this movie. Mm-hmm. They could have went somewhere with this movie. They that probably could have made this maybe the best predator movie out of all of them. And where is in that? which I thought that they was gonna touch on that this was the Predator's first time coming down to Earth. Mm-hmm. They finally, they this is how they start to evolve. They, they, like, this is how they realize, oh, this is how animals hunt. This is how they learned all this. I thought that they was going with this is how they learned all this shit. Mm. I did like the fact that the Predator's technology was still, like, was still in that. Yeah, these basically were just a prequel for human beings, not predators. Like the predator been new. Like whatever well, the no, predator was a prequel for for predator. No, what yeah, I mean was what I the predator was, wasn't down there to learn shit. He was down there to exactly, do exactly what he but, was doing, hunt shit. But they learned they they obviously evolved 
from when from from this this to, up until the first Predator movie to he ran it to Dutch. So I like thought I said, that I they would. I don't remember I, how 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 he evolved. I don't remember. Um. Well, because he's like he did everything he's doing every Predator movie. Well, I, I mean, like his weapons. And yeah, shit. his weapons. That's what I'm saying. Technology. Yeah, his his technology evolved. That's what I'm saying. I thought that they was gonna go the route to where they learned all, especially once I saw that this nigga was shooting out bow and arrows and shit. I'm like, oh, that this had, nigga. that he had to go collect. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I like he. That though. I'm like, oh, he learning from them. Oh, he yeah. see. Oh, this how they kill shit. This how they do all this shit here. Let me go get some. And then I thought when they ran into the French, I'm like, oh, okay, so this is where he gonna get like the move up to the bullets, the gunpowder, move up into all that and evolve into all that. But they simply just don't touch on any of that. Well, yeah, he evolved because this predator seemed to look, he's like you said, he seemed native. Yeah. Um, but when we got the predator in the first movie, you know, he had a, a, a more sci-fi mask on. Yeah. The mask this predator had on felt more primal. He had a handheld, you know what I'm saying, basically dark gun or crossbow some of some sort that he used his the bone master oh yeah and then um the original movie has it always been like that no well so where the arrow or whatever only go where the things where the uh, lasers flash um they didn't really hit on no nah, no nah, mm. no because once he missed his shot he missed his shot no, but okay. he did use that that laser you know he used that laser as his targeting system yeah. but he had a laser cannon on his arm he didn't have that crossbow. Mm -hmm. So, and even his, um, you know, like I said, his weaponry was, you know what I'm saying, native, his shield. Yeah. But um, the Predator had a very, I like that design. I didn't like. So, it's, so he basically, was, okay, so yeah, he basically had everything the Native Americans had. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. And, we, and, and then the first one, in the first Predator movie, his technology had evolved. Yeah. He was a better hunter then, too. Because he was, in this one, I, I see what you were saying. You was like, they, you wish they hit on a little more. With this one, he was actually coming into contact with his prey, being sensed a lot easier mm -hmm. than the Predators normally do, too. Mm -hmm. So that was, a good, that was a good little twist to this movie. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't have a problem with the Predator at all. No, I didn't have a problem with him, and I like that they mostly, he was mostly all practical. They rarely, like, made him, like, a CGI character, like, mm -hmm. when they showed him. I was, thank you. And I don't know, if maybe because that was to, like, the low budget of the movie. Maybe they didn't trust it enough, so they didn't give it the big budget, so they didn't go with the CGI. But I'm glad that they went with a lot of, a lot of practical shit in the in the movie and maybe that's because they wanted to spend a lot of the budget on the animals because that was really all that was cg in the movie really but mm -hmm. other than that i will say but this is more of like a writing thing it don't have nothing to do with the predator actually mm -hmm. i didn't like that after she said that um that he don't kill nobody that's just that's just that's just out just that's just bait. He mm -hmm. liked to hunt for his kill. I don't like that. Pretty much half the kills after that, they was just pretty much bait. It wasn't a fucking threat. No, it was like he nigga, y'all to, just told us he was trying. He was trying. He he. It was after one French nigga attacked him. He was like, all right, I'm finna kill all these niggas. I think that's what that was. I don't think that he just. But I how? think if he if they would they wasn't like they wasn't like uh. Locked, they wasn't like uh, uh, imprisoned or, or so. Then why wasn't he like that with the Indians? Because they was they was locked. I, like basically, it was like locked up. Like, but I mean, once I, I Indians think... started to try and kill him, he didn't kill. He still didn't try and kill her until the end of the movie. Well, I I think, and I, like you said, that might be a writing issue. No, I think it's because he didn't, he didn't look at them as like, all right. So these niggas took over the Indians. Now I got to kill them. They say his his target is always whoever is the highest. Or whoever on top, like whoever, whoever, whoever dominating. What what I right? What I got from that was, I didn't. I wasn't sure if he was hunting her in the beginning. Like I'm not sure who he was hunting. Actually, we right. know the predator always hunting somebody in particular mm -hmm. for. But that's why when I she think got he caught, was just trying to make his way through. Right really. when he, when she got caught 
and he didn't kill her. Going back to what Ron said, I think he killed most of them, um, them poachers because he was pissed. Yeah, that's what I think. That's why I think he killed them because they, you know, they they threw them. He got caught in them traps. I think he was pissed off, and I think he felt like you know what I'm saying. Y'all, was, they was hunting him, so <laughs> he had to turn the tables. But that wasn't explained. That's one of those situations to where it could be interpreted different. Yeah, because because my whole time sitting there, I'm like, why is he just roof ruthlessly killing everybody else? But when it come to her. Oh, all of a sudden, he don't like to kill people that's just bait, that's just sitting there. But I'm trying to think, like, well, like I said, I don't remember the other movies too much. I don't recall him just killing anybody. It was always somebody who was trying to Maybe kill the him. first movie. No, I mean. The no. first movie, he just started knocking them niggas yeah, off. Yeah, he was hunting them. <laughs> yeah. The first movie, but wasn't they, wasn't they attacking him too? No, nah, nah, after they, they, he started yeah, knocking them off. Yeah, they didn't even know. See, that's, that's, the, that's, that's why I kind of, I felt like. Um, so you can say that about that movie too. Then his what made in, him want to hunt them? Then his inexperience because he's seen them go. And just going back to the first one, he's seen them go knock off a whole platoon right in their village. Exactly. So he like they top dog. Right, and that's I'm the same hunt them. With, the, with the just the same with the with the Native Americans. He's seen them turn. Uh, he was he seen them turn some of them them white people up at first. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. They didn't do nothing to no white people. Cause they didn't show they didn't show them French motherfuckers until they captured her. Yeah. I could have swore that who who was well who was they they was hunting something or did they see him did did he see them kill that lion Prob- probably but S- something something made him want to hunt them right he ain't just picked them you know what he I'm saying did. yeah they they didn't I show that that's that just what I interpret son because it seemed like he was moving up the food chain every time he killed something a little bit bigger every time he killed something a little bit bigger and then his first Cause I believe his first interaction of even seeing a human was that, seeing her. That snake, but that but that snake tried to attack him. That wolf. Yeah. Actually, that why did what he say he was looking? He was uh, studying food chain. Oh, that's what that was. Well, yeah. that's what it seemed like that they was trying to. To betray. me, I thought he attacked. I thought he did the snake like that because the snake peeped him like, oh, okay, I'm gonna bite his ass after he ate the rat. He was a uh, he uh he, he he you gotta understand he a trophy hunter, right? So he hunting whatever he feel like is a dangerous animal. Yeah. Everything he he didn't like you said, hint going back to was it because they killed oh, that wait lion? A minute. Was it the lion or was it him who slashed that, that one Native American? Because I thought it was, it was him. Lion. It was the lion. Yeah, it was the lion. So it wasn't did. him that hit it uh-uh. there? You talk about nah. the one cat they had to go look for? Yeah. Yeah. It it was the lion that did that. So that's what we didn't get. Was he hunting but, because they went and killed that like lion? Like in the movie, they asked. If the lion did that, the lion wouldn't have left him alive. Something scared the lion. Yeah, that's what they were saying. All Something the animals scared were the scared. lion away. Oh. Yeah. All the animals were scared outside. Actually, he wouldn't have left him alive either. So I guess you're right. What? The predator yeah. wouldn't have left him alive either. Exactly. But like I said, I, I'm on the fence about the movie. I don't know. Like I... I enjoyed watching the movie, but mm-hmm. I had a lot of problems with the movie. Like especially once you get into the third act, I I really didn't buy it. It seemed like they made him stupid after that. It, during the third fight, it just seemed like they just I don't know. They, they just I, well maybe the writers got stupid. I didn't want to say that because I always come off like. I'm rooting against the women. Yeah. I didn't want to say that. So, you know, I watched it twice. Like, you know, maybe said, maybe you looking at it. Oh, but she was just cold. Though. She, was been, whooping, she was whooping the dude. You being biased. She barely wanted, she barely could kill an animal. Kill a lion. She was whooping the niggas, In the beginning though. of the, in the, beginning only of the she, movie. Only reason she didn't kill that lion at one time, because she was, I mean, she was kind of trapped. No, she was on that she damn was branch. She was no, on that she branch. Was yeah, you can't fight no lion in the tree. I don't care who you is. The whole thing that, that they was portraying to us up until that point, up at, well, up, the whole movie was that she was too scared to step up. That's what they was trying to portray to us. No, I think they was trying to portray that she just not scared, but like I like when she was chasing the deer at the beginning, she hesitated. 
I wouldn't say scared. She kind of hesitated. That's why she. That's why she ain't get that deer. Same with the. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say same with the lion because the lion caught them off guard. Wait, why was they in the tree anyway? Because they was hunting, looking for the lion. Right, but what, what made them go up in the tree? So they can get a better. Uh, view. They can get a better view. You don't oh want yeah, to be but on she, the, 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 the lion caught with the, the lion. The, well, the lion caught her slipping. You ain't gonna. You not gonna be no no. Oh, old boy slipped. Exactly. Caught both of them though. He was running his mouth too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying yeah. she got caught slipping too. That's why she. <laughs> Well, that's why what happened happened what happened when she it, tried to walk at the end of that damn branch. I, and it broke. I, I think what it is is we saw we see the direction that they were trying to go. Not saying that the movie was bad. Now, I'm gonna, let me speak for myself. I see the direction that they were trying to go. The movie was good, mm-hmm. but it was some parts of this movie that could have been a little more thorough or executed a little better than yeah. what it was. Yeah. And I think that's where the movie kind of lacked that. And I think. That's kind of where we all somewhat agree on. Oh, the movie yeah, wasn't yeah. bad. It's just that maybe it was budget issues. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But like you said, like maybe they could have just tightened a few things up. Yeah. Changed maybe one or two things here, and I think they would have had it. I still get this movie a, a B minus. Like I said, I I enjoy watching this movie. Now I don't know if I if I don't know if I would have paid to go see this movie in theaters. I would because it's a predator movie. I, I would have paid to go see it. I but and watching see- the movie is what I mean. Would y'all have what I after watching have. the movie? Would y'all have gone, gone paid and went I to go see? I wouldn't have paid whether I watched it or not. I wouldn't have paid to go nah. see it. Oh, I thought you said you would have. No, nah, I wouldn't oh. have. Nah. I've um, Damn, every I, I didn't go see Predator Two in the theater because I was still young. But mm-hmm. every since every Predator release after Predator Two, I've went and seen in the theaters because I'm I'm a fan of the, the the franchise. Yeah, still looking for, and that's 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 more of my own fault. I'm still looking for that Predator One, Predator Two feel in the movies. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back and watch them. Man, the movies hard. And which I will say, they did kind of go back to the basics a little bit with yeah. this one. Just sit them in the forest somewhere, and they let them let them hunt shit. But that's when the movie takes off. Like Predators with uh, Adrian Brody. Mm-hmm. Uh, people complained about his character and stuff like that, which I really didn't trip off his character too much. Yeah. But that movie had a, re- a real heavy stalking element to it. Movie just wasn't good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So y'all want to give y'all grades? I gave mine B minus. Uh, so. I think I'm going to go with a flat B. Yeah, I was kind of torn between them I'm going to go with a flat B. Um, this movie, I feel like, like I said, I had they tightened a few things up, trimmed some fat here and there, mm-hmm. this this could have easily been an A movie. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with the- That's uh, kind of funny. It's only, what, an hour and 40 minutes, an hour 38? They they was too heavy on the the coming of age story yeah. in it. Uh, didn't have a I th- and I think this was gonna turn the people who don't like it. I think this is what's gonna make them not like the female character so much. But yeah, um, she wasn't a pretty like she wasn't that likable to really? me. I mean, to me, she wasn't. I didn't. I didn't. Not, I ain't not like her, but exactly, she wasn't likable. Like she I wasn't mean, like oh, she cold. Like you know what I'm saying. She just was like all right, somebody in the tribe. She was just the only only thing that she was just ahead of all them when it came to as far as uh knowing that something else was out there. Yeah, Nobody wanted did. to believe her. Yeah, she was. But a to me, she wasn't really a likable character. To me, I mean, yeah. I ain't really careful. I thought she was gonna die. I yeah. knew she would. Yeah, I'm surprised. She's. I'm surprised. She's. She much plot armor should, that they put on her. I, I in the think, beginning of the movie. But I, and that's another thing. I think. This this my opinion. I think they've gotten too comfortable with the Predator franchise to where it always has to be a hero. We don't need a hero all the time. Yeah. The Predator can win, and that would make right. for an but, awesome movie. But that's with movies, period. They, they, I don't Man, know why nigga, they don't like to have this the nigga, killer this nigga or the defeated. bad guy. Well, the yeah. thing, I'm, I'm saying with a prequel, with anything prequel, it's not, it's, I, don't, I don't feel like it's a bad thing to have the antagonist to win because now i'm wondering how don't how have the stories of the predator not like gone down the the generations 
I mean, at some point, they killed that predator for one, and then the white people eventually killed all the Indians. Or oh, Native they, Americans, so well, <laughs> which goes back One to them white folks came across their head. Yeah. Which, which goes back to I'm, I'm wondering if it's this the black dude with dreads. The reason, and and, and this is what with this is another head. reason this movie not getting the A. That pistol is the same pistol the predator gave Danny Glover at the end of part two. Hmm? That that one that says seventeen with fifteen on it. That Raphael that, that had his name on it. Oh, the yeah, pistol. I remember them showing That's the pistol. same pistol the, the Predator at the end of part two gave to Danny Glover. Hold on. Predator gave him a gun? Pre- Danny Glover killed the Predator in that movie. But mm-hmm. he killed him on his ship. That's when all the other Predators on the ship uncloaked themselves and approached Danny Glover. And they picked up the body. And the, the, the leader, he turned around and got ready to walk away. And he stopped. And he turned back around. And he pulled it out of his belt. And he told him, he was like, take it. And Danny Glover took it. And he walked off. Them niggas can talk? Yeah, they can talk. Oh. They they can't. They can talk. They can mimic. They can mimic us. Mm. But um, that's why I felt like, you know what I'm saying, okay, I when you said you thought she was going to die. So was you saying they retconned it? I'm not. No, what I'm saying is I don't say they, I'm not saying they retconned it. It's more stories mm. after that. I'm yeah. about to say, y'all think we're going to get another one? It's, I, I, I feel like we are. And I'm okay with that, but I hope we don't get one and then they kill another predator. At some point... But they kill a predator every movie, don't So they? why do we need to be scared of the predators when they all come get their ass knocked off? Nigga, you see how tall we the alpha hunters then. I'm, what I'm saying is... Yeah, that's why they keep dropping them off there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we're the alpha hunters if we keep knocking them off. Not one has escaped. Not one. All of them did. Let me ask you a question. In real life... Let's say the predator was real and the predator came down. Who did? We did. From one predator? They had killed a million people to kill that one predator. But the thing is, you have <laughs> to find it. You have to know that that predator is there. What that mean? Come on, right now. You have to know that that predator is there. Which, yeah, you right. With our technology. But you put a platoon of... Five, six people in the. Oh no, no, I ain't. Ta- I ain't say seeing ten. Oh, okay. Seal <laughs> Team Six after this one predator. I'm just saying they probably be going wherever vicinity that they think he in. They probably just gonna bomb that and get rid of him. Right, but man for man, they the, well, man for predator. They the better species. Yeah, yeah, they are. But what but, uh, I'm, what I'm saying is, if they do make a, a sequel to this, a predator got to get away. The predator yeah. got to win. He got to get away with the pistol. Now, I mean, I don't even know how he gonna get the pistol. <laughs> Dude gonna go back after that tribe. I mean, I guess kill my brother. I guess the chief gonna hop off the ship and go wipe off. The yeah, natives. they probably. Oh, I about to say, I thought the ships left. I thought the it ships did leave, but they probably the came left. back thinking it's going thinking they probably lost contact with him. Probably came back, see what this nigga on, bro. And they, and they find his body, like, oh damn, this nigga got knocked off. Right. Take the gun, find whoever, see what DNA on it. And Let's find who this. Who how they this. gonna find the gun? Though? Did they take? Did did the uh, natives take the gun? Yeah. They oh. didn't, they showed the gun like well, they showed because oh, she yeah, gave she yeah, gave because yeah. the gun came from the French yeah yeah, yeah. Gave it, she showed the gun to the tribe what, like what I would we do, need to move what I would do oh the white, she the white would folks have over she there. would have to be in the sequel and it'd have to be somebody coming because this predator left technology around how's the technology not found mm-hmm. like I said you killing this predator. You killing this predator is opening up a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The next so movie, they they just somebody got to come clean it up. Clean it up, or it, and then maybe she takes some of the predator uh, technology and try to. You know what I'm saying? This what I'm finna use. That'll maybe. be a good twist. But, but Ron, I'm giving this get... movie a C, bro. Okay. I'm gonna give it a C. Seems like we all right around the same yeah. area. Pretty much got the same thoughts. On I it. probably won't watch it again. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. If y'all, I do, it'll be but you like watch it a second time. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I watched the first half, fell asleep, then I went back to it because I, I mean, I was hella tired. I I'm, worked twelve hours, so I say I just turned it off and went to sleep. And I said, I'm I'll not watch gonna it watch it again simply because this time I have to actually get on the app, go to the app to look for to play. No, I'm not watching it. What again. you mean you gotta look for? Because it's on Hulu. Oh, you, you, said you know, it ain't something, something that's coming on, on HBO when I go yeah. lay in the bed to watch TV. So it's just gonna be only on. I watch it again. If somebody be like, "Hey, ain't, ain't never you ever seen me Pray?" Like, no, you want to watch it? That's the only yeah. way I'm gonna watch it again. But yeah. probably wouldn't watch this again. Like I said, it, I enjoyed watching it a little more the second time because 
when I got to the the meat the meat of the movie, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Him, I, I me, mean, I still don't see how he fucked that bird up, but didn't beat her. But man, he plot stole. armor. He yeah. punched that bird clean in the jaw man, and he put stole it out. That bird. <laughs> he put it. He put. He killed the bird with a punch. Plot armor. <laughs> man, he punched that bird like bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Bite me on my leg. Man, that bird mauled him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did for real, for real. He was pissed. But that's been views of a flick. Our thoughts on Hulu's Predator prequel. prequel mm-hmm. Prey. Pray. I'm Will I Am Defoe, aka Big Willie Style. That said, what's happening? That's Ron Jarobi. You already know. We're going to see y'all next time. <laughs>